wow guys um, that's pretty much all I can say for the Jibo WP60 this thing rocks the house um, as you guys have seen on my previous videos I told you guys I'd be ordering a Jibo WP60 for the uh, new 120 gallon build and uh, it finally showed up this thing is probably the size of a softball um, it is huge the amount of flow that I have uh, felt at the other end of the tank is probably the size of a medium sized ba basketball and uh, probably the strongest amount of flow I've ever felt out of a power head and I've owned uh, the Tunzi 6100's and uh, you know I, those are you know supposed to have a lot of flow but this thing just blows that out of the water especially for eighty five dollars guys um, as you can see getting a lot of uh, wave action here uh, you know after I adjust it it takes about ten minutes or about I don't know a few minutes for it to uh, figure out what it's doing again you know it's renaissance frequency is what you'd call it but other than that guys uh, it comes with a controller that uh, it's pretty simple but uh, it provides basically all of uh, the options that some that one would want um, right now we're in wave mode one and my dial isn't turned down the fastest pulse so this is fastest pulse and guys it, it probably takes a few minutes for it to really get to what it's going to be doing as you can see we just adjusted it and guys the pump it's viewtrently silent um, you know that's one of the plus things that they were saying about this um, on the market it's quieter <clears throat> than the Vortec WP or MP40 it's a third of the a quarter of the cost um, and uh, basically its power is even more than uh, the W the MP40 and the other thing that's a plus two guys is on the uh, on the vortex their their motors on the outside that's probably why it's a bit louder but if that goes out that replacements about hundred and twenty dollars so you could have bought one of these for that hundred and twenty dollars or basically eighty five dollars and you know been able to buy maybe even six of these for the price of a WMP40 so with that said I think it's totally worth the price um, if it breaks oh well the vortex are known to, to wear out every year or so so uh, you know I gave it a shot um, I'll go over the, the controls real quick um, there's the low setting for the wave <clears throat> which will probably be a more even wave from corner to corner but uh, it'll take a while for that to, that to go in it's got wave mode 2 which starts out kind of uh, hard uh, flow and then ramps down and then takes a long pause and then W3 is the opposite, it would be a little bit faster and then uh, shorter rests and else is pretty cool, it, it, it's kind of trying to mimic vortex reef crest mode I believe it's it kind of goes through all all the channels um, basically all the modes so uh, that's probably the one that I'll end up running it on uh, maybe once a week I'll, I'll throw a storm on there um, but I'll have to do that manually unfortunately um, you got a 10 minute uh, hold for uh, feeding and then I'm not sure exactly how to I guess so what I can do is I can hold the button down and lock it and uh, well I guess I locked it but it's still or no it, it locked it's in the same mode so uh, you know I really like it I think it's a great pump People, a lot of people are complaining about the sensor and uh, basically it having to have a light on or 
you know, and not shutting off like Vortec. Vortec does a 10 hour shut off, I believe. And uh, this one has a light sensor. So it's not that big of a deal, guys, because you could do one or two things. You could put a lamp inside your sump on a timer that uh, comes on, which that would just be retarded. Um, the best way to do it would just be put it on a timer. And uh, as you can see, I'll go ahead and kill the power to it. And then when I turn it back on, it goes right back to the same mode. So that's pretty much what I'll do is I'll just, that way my corals can sleep at night. But, uh, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal to me because I'm going to be running a reflow hammerhead on there. So, um, I really like the pump. I did do it on the tub, <clears throat> which I will show you guys that in a few minutes. But uh, it was basically rocking my ASM skimmer around. It was enough flow to uh, basically meet the needs of this tub with, with the uh, you know, assistance of the hammerhead reflow.